and, and that's that's and that's why I'm saying here's a Bluetooth generic. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, you can get this stuff on Alibaba if you want to. You know, I mean, just a, a phone case S7. Who is using an S7 right now? Do, what's the other? What are these? What, what's, what phone case is this? For iPhone six and six plus six X. That's that's probably usable. Uh, here's an iPhone seven case. So it's like I don't. I wouldn't want to be purchasing a whole lot of phone cases. I just wouldn't. A Motorola Droid. You know, it's like you. I don't even really purchase phone cases anyway because it's like phones come out so so much. Here's a MP, 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 uh, MP4 player. You know, those are those make money there. But depends on what model it is, too. Here's another case. Uh, in the future, if I'm an iPhone, this is a phone case. For iPhone 6, 6S. Uh, accessory cables, charger, stuff like that. What is this? This is a mount holder strap case for flip style portable dvd player and that's the, the sort of thing i'm saying is that's one of them let's just let's quickly move to the next one uh let's go to the one that costs three thousand dollars here's another one you're getting a total of 266 uh items a little bit less they're a little bit more pricier uh and it's four boxes and you're paying about four you there that the amazon price they're saying is uh equivalent to four thousand and one hundred dollars, you're paying three thousand dollars. And the items again, uh, in stock, yes, is a brand new, yes. Okay, so uh, on Amazon it says you can make four thousand dollars and one hundred, and it says you're paying uh, three thousand dollars. Now that ain't that ain't a good investment if you got to pay for two hundred sixty six items and spend three thousand just to make you know eleven hundred more. Uh, but okay, I guess they're going to be able to give you this item here for fifty percent off. Now, here's the deal: Do you think that these these lots or these boxes are priced up so that they can discount fifty percent to some people? I mean, you have to have that as a business strategy. I mean, people do it every day. You mark things up, even eBay, Amazon, so they mark things up just to promote a, a sale. Come on now. So, a lot of people promote that. Okay. And don't forget on 888.lots that your first lot is 50% off. Well, those prices are already jacked up as it is. And as we've seen in the last lot, really, really, it was not anything that's desirable for me. There are some people who do specialize in those sorts of things. And they know how to make money out of those things. So, uh, But if you're a first buyer just getting into the business, that is not something you want to be purchasing. Okay, so the first thing is like a walkie-talkie. Kenwood, walkie talking. They said on uh, on uh, Amazon it goes for like two hundred dollars, and then uh, you got a wireless backup camera system kit. Okay, and that's one hundred and seventy, one hundred and twenty something dollars. So it, there's like the price they're marking it as, and then the price that they're selling it for ain't too much different. This looks like basically a little camera of some sort dash camera uh another phone case for you phone case for what what is a phone case for a galaxy s7 nobody needs that right no no hardly anybody has a galaxy x7 anymore but you never know they probably still are big seller phones uh that's a waterproof gps tracker i have one of those GP, gprs tracking standby I actually have one of those, and I need to try to figure out what's up with it. All right, here's a probably a sleeve, a cover for a MacBook case. As a case, there some wires for your RCA or or some type of video cables. Uh, there's a mount wall mount. There's some there's some pitiful headphones here. Something I don't know, just HDE headset with microphone. You can use that for Xbox or something like that, maybe. Uh, this looks like it's just an audio cable or something. Oh, a di okay, Dios, Dios, whatever it's called. Bluetooth speaker. No name. SD card again. Uh, so, yeah, there you have it. So you get the first couple of items, and it looked good on the first couple of items, right? Looked good on the first 
look good on the first one, two, three, maybe four there. Three items. The first three items look good. What about the other 260 items that are only going for the low prices over here? I mean, who wants something like this? Uh, who, what's, that's what they're going to do. I mean, yeah. So it's like, you know, this here is for Fitbit. Oh, yeah, for Fitbit Blaze, a, a case or band or something. Uh, I don't know what that is there. Cell phone stand. Got a business with cell phone stand. Here's some generic Bluetooth. Man, this is it. I don't I don't know what this company's doing with this stuff, but and and like I said, there's truckloads as well. Let's go look at some of this other stuff. We're done with that. Okay, so let's get out of there and let's go to. Let's go to uh, the truckload, and that'll be the last thing we cover here. All right, let's look at a truckload here. Let's look at truckloads. All right, truckloads. Here's one for $344,000, supposed to make you one point five, almost $1.5 million. Let's look at this. It's a truckload. It's a big. It's the biggest one they got on there, I guess. But let's look at it. You're gonna get a total of. Now, I want you to pay attention here. Please look at this. You're going to get forty-two, over forty-two thousand items. You can get over forty-two thousand items. Now, this number here, I don't care how they break this in half of of. Uh, what they're asking for you can break that you can break that down to a hundred thousand and that's uh that's you know that's a lot of money still for 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 listen listen that's a lot of money for the average unit only being eight dollars in here the average unit price eight dollars is what you're paying per piece 64 pallets hell of a lot of pallets but the problem is is that that's a lot of items that don't cost a hell of a lot. Now, this thing here, uh, this is a Sony speaker or microphone. It's pretty expensive, too. It costs some money. $1,300. It, it can, it can, on Sony, they cost some money for that. But you don't have a lot of this stuff in here. You got here Apple uh, i7 computer. Then you got some parts like this. This is a fishing, some sort of fishing thing. You got a Samsung Note 9 in there. Uh, are these new? Oh, let me see what this is new. Yeah, they're brand new. Okay, so you got a few items like that. You have this uh, internet type of thing. Uh, 5G. You got a uh, Google Pixel 2 phone. Uh, a watch. And then you kind of you got a Canon 40 uh, kind of zoom camera but then things just kind of go now I got I got another 40,000 items that you know as a camera system there I wouldn't want to pay a hundred thousand dollars for this type of stuff that's an Apple watch second generation probably going for hundred twenty five dollars Face or something. It's like an amp here. Yep. Uh, yep. Some lenses. Shoes. This is a lot of inventory, so it, it would make somebody happy. A Galaxy A20. That's an expensive phone. That's like a thousand dollar phone. That's good to have. There's three of those in there. But the points you're gonna be looking at is, is I'm gonna make back a hundred thousand, or I'm gonna make my money back with, with all these items. Especially when you get down to, let's go down some, just go, kind of randomly go down to the middle or near the near the end. Uh, when I get down to, I mean, it's just a lot of items here, uh, and, and and you see these prices four dollars and something four four four. Let's just kind of scroll up. 
go up some more again. Apologize, the internet is a little slow. Four dollars, four dollars, four dollars. Four dollars, four dollars, four dollars, four dollars, four dollars, four dollars. When you got, when you have thirty thousand items that are all four dollars, four dollars, four dollars that they're using to fill up this truckload with. I mean, literally, when you have all of these items that are worth this type of money, uh, that's going to be difficult. Even when I look at this here thing here, uh, irrelevant. It's a retro camera. Evilent. Evilent. 11 99 so uh, when you got all these small things that I mean when you got 20 30 thousand items that only going for four or five dollars uh, if you look at something like this kind of just do a little figure right quick if I got 30 thousand items 30 thousand items and and they cost about seven dollars a piece that's uh, two hundred and ten thousand dollars. So, the thing about it is, is once you pay shipping or how long it takes to sell them, if they ever sell, it's like man, that's like and then the list of these things. I mean, that 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 that's just it's it's. It's kind of like what kind of inventory are you looking for? And as I said, most of the stuff you can just get on Alibaba or some Chinese place, some Chinese vendor in China. I mean, everything is damn near made in China, but you, you, you catch what I'm trying to say here. That substance, substance. Okay, so that's pretty much that right there. So I'm going to wrap this video up, just kind of talk with you a bit. Okay, so we're done with that uh, whole uh, portion of that video. And basically, what do you take? What do you take as if you're, what do you, what do you take from this? You take that, uh, for one, you really do, it's not really about you get what you pay for. It's, it's more so, what am I paying for? And what am I getting? And what's the facts in it? What's the reality beyond all of the um, beyond all of the hype? Like they say that you spend three hundred something thousand, you're gonna get a million and a half. That's a lot, you know. That's that's a whole lot. Is it realistic? No. Would you pay three hundred something thousand to make a million and a half? Anybody would. If that was the case, if everybody, everybody don't have 307,000, but if everybody could take, if every business person could take 300 and something thousand and make, uh, uh, and, and triple their money, uh, everybody be rich down there. But that's really not the case. You really got to have, you really have to have um, the ability to read into what you're actually looking at. Because they can make anything say anything. They can tell you that this sells on Amazon for this much. When you go on Amazon to look at that actual current listing that they got on Amazon, there's it's not even available anywhere. So now you're like, okay, now I got to find out where I can sell it for or where it can be sold. Or and, and the thing about it is with these lots, as I said, you have to look at some of them when, when they're not tested, when they're uninspected. That's where the buyer, you, me, the, the real buyers, that's where when they're unexpected and they're untested and the, the seller is letting you know that, that's where you and I as the buyers, that's when we take the risk. That's when it falls back on us. It's no longer the seller's fault. They're not going to be held accountable because you purchased an item that is no warranty, no returns on them. Uh, they were manifested and they told you that they may not be working at all.
Now, is that a bad practice, a bad seller? I'd agree if they if if only 25% of them work. I've purchased things like that before. But as I said, uh, it's up to you. You don't have to buy every lot that you see that you probably want or you hope that is working right or that you would wish would benefit you. Uh, you really have to buy products with some sense. It's like if you go to a car lot and you want to purchase a car because you need transportation for whatever reason, work, be it, travel, whatever, uh, or business. Uh, you're not going to go to a car lot and purchase a car from a dealership that tells you the car, I know nothing about it. It's uninspected. It's untested. I don't know. It's, I, I, somebody gave it to me and I'm just selling it. And they're telling you they want, okay, just give me $500 for it. Unless you plan on using that for scraps and you can make your 500 plus out of that car, you're not going to fool with it. But if you're looking for it for transportation and he's telling you it's, it doesn't know if it's work, there's no warranty, you're going to be very hesitant. And, you, and, you, and more likely you're not going to buy it. And that's the same mindset you got to have when you're looking at a lot of these sites. Don't focus on other people's success. Don't, fo don't focus on other people's unboxings on YouTube and be like, okay, he bought one from AAAlots.com and it was gravy. He was good for him. Okay, you're not him. You're not her. Uh, you may not have the seller experience and status that they have. You may not have uh, the the amount of uh, you not you may not be as well known to the actual liquidator, the seller, as that person is or would like to be affiliated or known to them. And as I said, there's some of these resellers that they get lots and they get pallets and they get truckloads from some of these companies and these companies actually make sure and ensure that they get the very best so that that comp that that reseller or that person that's on youtube showing their product not necessarily endorsing it directly but indirectly and they're going to make sure you know that hey this person has ten thousand views or this person has one million views of our item that's going to bring in traffic for them and so it's only beneficial for that company to give them the very best so that they can generate traffic. And then everybody who sees that video or, you know, if you got 10 people who watch that video within that three, four months and they contacted 888lots or bulk.com and they purchased lots from there or they just basically went on there and purchased them. But then they got, they didn't get that type of condition lots or items that, that, YouTube person got, or the other reseller got, because there was no favor involved in it. There was there was really nothing necessarily to gain for the liquidator, as it was with the person who had the YouTube channel that's pretty big. There's more to gain and there's more to lose. So um, that was my intention of going over this particular lot or these particular sites with you to just let you see, you got to be able to, like, what am I going to be going through here? Like me, I wouldn't purchase, there's a lot on 888.com that I would not purchase because I don't want a lot of tablet, tablet cases in electronics. And I don't want a lot of things that um, are just, they sell maybe, but then they're probably new, but they're not name brand. They're, they're not, you know, as long as I've been in this business and I also have retail, had a retail store and I still sell uh, at, at, at flea markets and all that, you know, all the, for years, I've never ceased doing those things. But I don't want a lot of product. And, and, and what customers want, as you know, if those things, those things make money, I will agree to that. Everything can, that's, 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 you know, it doesn't have to be Apple AirPods. It can, the generic ones sell too. But what people prefer and what would help build a business and generate more traffic is the ones that are the name brands. So some of those items are just they're 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 knockoff or they're just substitutes. They will work and they will sell. I want to make that clear. But 
it's like, do you want to start your business off? I started my business off with generic things from Alibaba and, you know, places like that. I actually did. That's how I started my business, shopping with them. Uh, and it wasn't a full-time business or nothing. It was just to make money. And it, it wasn't that I was buying, you know, I was buying things like, you know, uh, generic phones and uh, novelty things like Bluetooth shower heads and, um, uh, you know, whatever I felt like could sell that, that, you know, somebody else may have wasn't selling or, uh, you know, things like that. But, but today as you progress, you, you know, it ain't like I just chose to switch up my game and, and start selling, you know, premium name brand goods. It was what it was in. It was what was demanded. It was what was was constantly asked for. People want those, those those goods that are made with better material, better quality. And don't get me wrong, generic things. There are some generic things that can last for a long time, and then there are some things that just don't have the the the, the quality, you know, parts and materials to make them work for a long time. They're not really manufactured for that reason. And so, uh, so I was kind of like, you know, in order to be successful or, or to pro progress in my business, I had to kind of pull away a lot of the generic things and look for, you know, the things that come from Walmart or Best Buy or, or, or Target or, uh, uh, the other big box companies. So, uh, and not there, but just from liquidators in general who have those things that are the, you know, the, the the kind of brands and the kind of things people want, even though everything can possibly sell. So what I really wanted the, the you viewers to take away from this is don't don't get wrapped up in now if you're just looking at videos of unboxings and other people's channels and stuff just for entertainment, that's cool. Because a lot of times the, you know sometimes there's a percentage that that's what it is. But if you're looking at pattern and uh mimic your business or get into this business and use use their success and what they're showing you as a as a as a way to get involved too and, and have the same success then you got to keep in mind that everything is not going to be equal and you got to know how to go about getting the product that will lead to your success and not lead to you being like that was some trash that we got and, and like i said i've seen so many unboxes and i'm like these people been in this business for this long. Why would they order that? I mean, you got to follow those basic principles. They, it's got to be a reputable site. It's got to have a manifest. Uh, and then you got to watch customer concern returns. Because as I said, even places like 88 Lots or, or Vault.com, any company that will sell, any company, any liquidator that will sell individual pieces or items, you better believe that when they get their inventory in, their truckloads in, that they're inspecting those things, that they're 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 cherry picking those things, and for the most part, they're making sure their individual company, their individual sales, for as individual items, are the ones that's going to be for them to make higher dollars. Because if if a company gets in a uh, iPhone 11 or multiple of them, and they sell individual pieces like that. It's more beneficial to them to sell that item for a thousand rather than to include it in a pallet or a box or a lot that they're only selling for a thousand or that they're selling for two thousand. It just doesn't make sense. And then I and then I'm aware of certain unboxings as well. If I got a if I have a I was watching I like I said I watch a lot of the unboxings and I like a lot a lot I watch a lot of the resellers. And if I see a lot of their product is just generic mainly all generic items. There's no name brands in there such as, you know, I Apple or Beats or Samsung or Sony or LG or Bose. There's none of that stuff in there. But then they got like 40 items and out of those 40 items, you got a couple of name brand items in there. How does that happen? How does that happen? Unless those are fake clone generic because there's fake Beats there's fake Apple, there's fake Samsung, 
So you have to, I mean, you really do. You got to know where you're getting it from. So that's why, I mean, it, it takes a lot in this business and it takes a lot of you, as you if you're going to be involved, it takes you being a student and it's going to take you to learn some experience on where you're getting your stuff from and, you know, you know. So that's what the purpose of this video is just to kind of let you know with your own eyes, let you see it for yourself. All this stuff on some of these sites, somebody's buying them. And if you're going to be one of the ones buying from these sites or any of the other sites, you just got to know what you're buying. And if a company is telling you that they're uninspected, that's for their benefit. That's for their safety. You need to watch out for your own safety and your benefit because uh, you don't want to be the one just making somebody else profit. And you don't want to be the one that's taking two, three, four years to make the money that they said you could. With that being said, uh, I'm going to let you go for now and until the next video. And one day I may do, I don't know, maybe one, I, I kind of like, you know, making these videos is not really my thing necessarily. Uh, but in listening to videos after videos that I watch when in my free time, when I have it, when I'm not working and, you know, when I'm just relaxing or eating or whatever, just chilling, uh, then I see so many things and I'm like, why did they buy that pallet? Why did they buy that lot? And then I'm looking at, you know, the ones that are really successful on YouTube and I'm like, you know, there's, you know, even some of them will tell you that, you know, even some of them will be like, man, uh, we got all this nice stuff and that's normally not the case, you know? Well, there's a little bit of somebody giving you the VIP, uh, status and everybody's not going to get that and you can't convey that enough to the viewers that hey this doesn't normally happen in the real world you know uh but anyway if, if, if you if 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 i appreciate you those that you know your viewers who, who have watched this video and i hope it's giving you some insight and i and i and i i, I wish i could have done it much even more time on a more thorough point and maybe one day as I'm purchasing a lot or boxes or a pallet, I'll just either do it live or I'll show you the actual purchasing of something and why I purchased it. And and, and then when I get it in and, and sell it, let you see exactly why I purchased it and what it actually did make. Until then, be safe. Take care. Uh, Audi.